How do you feel when you see a black and white photograph, maybe a vintage Volkswagen Beetle or a Mini Cooper? And for the newer generation, perhaps even a floppy disk. I think it's essentially a feeling of nostalgia. Today in this video, I will introduce you to a vintage bicycle, which is associated with one such incident of nostalgia from 1982. Before I introduce my bike, a little bit about the rider who made it famous. Giuseppe Saroni was an Italian rider who, as mentioned earlier, won the World Cycling Championship in 1982. He also won two Giro d'Italia, one of the three major grand tours of the annual cycling calendar with 21 stages spread over approximately 23 days, covering more than 3000 kilometers. Take a careful look at the bike Saroni Road. It is presently at the Colnago Museum in Italy, which has lovingly been nurtured by Ernesto Colnago. Ernesto was the founder of the company established in his name that he set up in a small shed. The company remains one of the most iconic cycling brands to this day. In keeping with the major features of the original bike, this bike is a near replica from 1983. Yes, it is almost 40 years old. The bike's frame has been made with Columbus super light steel tubes. Columbus was and remains one of the finest steel frame manufacturers in the world. The frame is distinguished by the crimps on the top and down tube to give it additional strength and the model was called by some the super profile and the others Novo Mexico. The bike is adorned in a lovely cherry red color, which given the achievements of its rider has since been christened in his name and is lovingly called the Saroni Red. The second distinguishing feature of the bike is its group set or the parts that make it run, stop and change gears. This includes the brake levers, brake calipers, gear levers which unlike present day bikes were positioned on the down tube. Front derailleur, the crank and crank arms, pedals and pedal cages and again unlike present day clipless pedals, bikes in the past had cages affixed to the pedals. The set also included the rear derailleur for changing gears and the wheel hubs along with its skewers. Going with the Italian pedigree of the bike, Saroni rode with the Campagnolo Super Record group set in 1982 and in 1983 Campagnolo released a limited edition serial numbered 50th anniversary group set. This was affixed on Saroni's bike and my bike has a similar one distinguished by the gold accents and the 50th anniversary logo on all its parts. The third distinguishing feature was the black bar stem and silver handlebar, both created for Colnago by the 3T company. The handlebar has a white bar tape. The present bike has a white tape, though a more modern one for riding comfort. However, I do have the more traditional cotton one as well to retain the original character of the bike. The fourth element is a brown saddle from Concord, made from rich, tough leather that continues to remain as comfortable and effective to this day. And fifth, the wheels, which were made by a famous French company, Mavic. Interestingly on Saroni's bike, these were not fitted with the 50th anniversary hubs, but instead the super records. Keeping in with the same detail, why I do have the anniversary set on a spare set of Colnago's own Ambrosio clincher wheels, the Mavics are fitted with a pair of records. So this was all about the description of the bike. Let me briefly demonstrate the change of gears with these unique levers and then off we head for a spin on the bike. And you can judge for yourself if it runs as well as it did almost 40 years back.
this then was a day with my vintage bike even if technology may have overtaken these bikes over the years yet the top of the line features from 40 years back are well capable of 40 km per hour speeds to perhaps enhance of a more accomplished rider than me that's all for today then until next time goodbye